Oh, <laughs> all right. New year, new me. I guess. That phrase is gonna mean a few things. One, I'm changing up my style. That's right, no more crewnecks in my videos. It is officially the season of the short sleeve button up. Why? Because I ran out of crewnecks and I have an abundance of these, so freaking deal with it. I've also officially started my campaign to be People Magazine's sexiest man alive for the year of our Lord 2022. But the only way I can even be nominated is if you subscribe right now. Now, so if you do think I should be nominated, just freaking click that subscribe button already. What are you, what are you even waiting for, dude? Come on. And remember, this is my dream. And if I don't get it, I will cry. And you don't want to see that. Anyway, today's video is about you know men, the hairy, stinky, sweaty backbone of this nation's oppression. The worst part of being alive. The subject of that show where there were those two men and that half man. You know, uh, how I met your mother. Men, you must be swift as a coursing... Lake? And what better place to see men at their fully evolved form than Facebook. Specifically, this Facebook page called The Masculine Renaissance, which if the parody of Blister in the Sun that I was forced to watch multiple times in middle school is correct, Renaissance means rebirth. This would indicate that these men have had new ideas and that they've also had epiphanies about their previous actions being kind of shitty. But nope. No, it's the same old misogynistic incel shit we've been getting for hundreds of years. You know the classic women dumb and bad, men smart and good argument you've heard from your racist uncle anytime he visits. Whoa, Emily, why aren't you in the kitchen right now? We're trying to watch the game, and there's no possible way you can understand what's happening, so why don't you go clean something or bring us some buffalo dip? Oh, and don't touch the grill. I don't trust women to make steaks, burgers, and hot dogs, but anything else, they're, they're good. Charles, how old is she really <laughs> could have fooled me you're gonna want to keep that one on a close leash so yeah there are no new ideas floating around this page at all in fact the posts on this page are so unoriginal that most of them are just other people's tweets old ass memes and quotes from people that died years ago like this one from henry james's the bostonian published between 1885 and 1886 the whole generation is womanized the masculine tone is passing out of the world. It's a feminine, a nervous, hysterical, chattering, canton age. An age of hollow phrases and false delicacy and exaggerated solicitudes and coddled sensibilities, which, if we don't soon look out, will usher in the reign of mediocrity. This is such a weird take to have, especially over a hundred years after the book was originally published. Are you still scared? After 136 years? Damn, you are fragile. Before I dive any deeper into this page, I just want to give a quick content warning for misogyny, homophobia, transphobia, and if there's anything else, I'll throw it up on the screen right now. I don't know if there's anything new, I'm just gonna, that's an editing job. Okay, let's freaking look at the worst incel page on Facebook. The Masculine Renaissance on Facebook. Oh, this is depressing. It has 26,343 people that like the page. That's more subscribers than I have on this page by like 23,000. So uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to me, subscribe to me so I can have more subscribers than the freaking Masculine Renaissance. That's just not fair. The freaking Masculine Renaissance is beating me. That's, that's that's bullshit right there. I'm calling bullshit. Okay, they shared this. Simping is a byproduct of a deregulated sexual marketplace. This asymmetry has resulted in an influx of lonely young men. This is not merely a negative deployment, but a warning sign of society teetering towards disaster. And then the article they shared what the person said, it says, study shows 51% of young men are single. Why do you think that is? That's not because they're simping over women. It's because the women don't want them because they're freaking terrible people. Why? Why would a woman want to be with a man who's misogynistic? That doesn't make any sense. It's not 19 fucking 50 anymore like the photo they used for this article would want you to believe. If you cheat on a girl and she finds out, there is going to be a very primal part of her that is turned on by it, even though she's likely angry. Whereas if a girl cheats on you, you're probably just gonna feel disgust. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> There's different sexual preferences for what different people like to do. So if a woman wants to be cucked, a woman can be cucked. Isn't it more common for a man to wanna be cucked? Like just statistically, I don't know. I made that up. But from what I've seen, it's more common for a man to wanna be cucked by their wife than 
vice versa. Kyle Trouble is just a freaking idiot. Like he said, there's a very primal part of her that is turned on by it. Do you have a source? What does that even mean? All right, Ryan says, if a man cheats with a more attractive woman, she will likely be more attracted to him because women tend to be attracted to men that other women want. Men, however, are territorial by nature. So when a woman cheats on a man, he will likely become enraged and feel violated. This comes from no man wanting to have the fear of raising a child that is not his and not wanting to feel like he's paying the ultimate price for what men got for literally nothing. <laughs> Ryan, come on, Ryan. What are you talking about, man? Men are territorial by nature. Maybe some men, but some women are also territorial. Like, this isn't just a man versus woman thing. Also, the part where he says this comes from no man wanting to have the fear of raising a child that is not his. Excuse me? There are, like, plenty of men who are perfectly fine with raising children that aren't theirs. Fucking motorcycle. Again, Gotta love being home. But like I was saying, there are plenty of men who don't mind raising children that aren't theirs. Why do you think stepfathers exist? Like, just because you don't want to do something doesn't mean this applies to all men. You're just misogynistic. Women will really go to therapy and take drugs instead of digging holes and or chopping down trees <laughs> until their problems no longer seem like that big of a deal. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, thank you, Catholic Space Emperor. <laughs> God, I'm getting such a headache from reading this. Like, do I even have to explain why that's fucking ridiculous? The only solution that these men think there is to problems is to dig a hole and chop down a tree. <laughs> Like, therapy isn't a good thing. <laughs> David says, yes, because at therapy, they pay $500 for the therapist to tell them that it's a man's fault and they love it. Want to make a million bucks? Start a business telling fat chicks they are beautiful. Oh, David, that's so nice of you. Look, what I don't understand about a lot of these incels and, like, men in general is that they just seem to hate women. Like, if you're straight, you're supposed to like them. So why do you do this? That doesn't make any sense. Woo! Perfect grammar alert. There is a lot of people out there that confuse men. Oh, what? Okay, what the fuck? Okay. There is a lot of people out there that confuse men that won't put up with women's shit with men that hate women. Wait, okay. There is a lot of people out there that confuse men that won't put up with women's shit with men that hate women. Setting and enforcing boundaries with women is not hate. By saying putting up with women's shit, what do you mean? Specifically, what is the shit that you as a man has to put up with? When she like tells you to do the dishes or when she tells you to make your bed because you're a fucking slob? Is that like a boundary that you're not going to cross is, I'm not going to have a woman tell me what to do. I'm a strong man. My name is Richard Cooper. The Simpson White Knights defending women in the comments are entertaining. Another example of perfect grammar. I love how just simply just being like, hey, Women aren't so bad, makes you a simp and a white knight. Thanks, Frank. I love how all of these names are just like generic white guy names too. Happily married chauvinist pig. The wife respects I don't tolerate any bullshit, just as she should not. Women want a man they cannot change, bend a little and lose a lot. Her bitter feminist friend does not understand why she is still single and miserable. That sounds really fake. Like, I have a wife and I hate women. And then you go under the profile, and the profile picture is just, like, Thor from Endgame. <laughs> That's classic Donnie right there. Classic Donnie. Advice for men. Unfollow every chick on Instagram that wouldn't answer a DM from you. No models, no dancers, no fitness influencers. Stop being a part of their audience. Stop being a thirsty fan. Yeah, stop supporting creators that you enjoy. What? Don't support women if you can't talk to them. Don't support any content creators if you can't get any of that freaking poop, dude. If she won't answer your text message, unfollow that dumb bitch. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Anthony says, unfriend zone yourself also. That's major weakness. Yeah, simply just, you know, don't be her friend anymore. Don't be friends with women. That way you can still have your male-centric mind. It's all in the mindset. It's all in the, the freaking alpha mindset. Most girls are very similar, even though guys often create illusions that they are not. For every girl that you are in love with, you'll find out there are hundreds of other girls just like her available. Same with men, though. People have have common interests, that doesn't mean they're the same person. I like this blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl who likes The Office. 
oh, she doesn't like me? Here's another blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl who likes The Office. That doesn't mean they're the same person, it just means they have similar features and like the same things. Come on, powerful Machiavelli, this isn't hard. Don't sit here and pretend that it only pertains to women just because that's your argument. You're just wrong, like factually wrong. Rob says, millions. But that's also the problem, because they're all not worth long-term relationships. Definitely no commitments or cohabitation. For a man's protection, never trust a word a woman tells you. It's usually filled with omissions, half-truths, a little fairy tales, and a few things that make her look great. Verify and challenge her on details. You'll often discover that what she told you is not 100% true. Some people lie. That doesn't mean that everyone lies or everyone of the same gender is lying. Just because you had an experience with someone who lied doesn't mean everybody is. Also, if you're gonna meet somebody and then be like, oh, what color is your hair? Brown. Is it really brown? Did you dye it? Did you dye your hair? Name every song that Led Zeppelin's ever put out. You're just a psychopath. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't like these people more than I don't like the people that call Target Target. If you do either of those things, stop it. Keith says, because femininity was evolved to exploit men, women thrive on victimhood, even if it's vicarious and imaginary. You know what, Keith? You're right. Women only know exploit men, thrive on victimhood, McDonald's, charge they phone, be bisexual, eat hot chip, and lie. Girls have girlfriends and boyfriends. If you're not fucking her, you're her girlfriend. Dash rational male. Totally a rational thing to say. I have a ton of friends that are girls. Like, what the fuck does this even mean, dude? No wonder you're single. Because no one's gonna want to be with you. If this is your worldview, that women just fucking suck and they're the worst, no one is gonna want to be with you. That's just a fact. Can I make an entire video off of rational male quotes on Twitter? Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Sixy commented the little bullseye emoji. The rational male quotes, they had their freaking bow and quiver on. They went, pew. Like frickin', like frickin' Hawkeye, dude. Ooh, Kyle Trouble! Judge a girl by her father's relationship with her. A lot of moms and daughters tend to be at odds, even as adults. Nature of women. Instead, look to see if she respects dad. If she doesn't, move on. Yeah, dude, if her dad totally frickin' abused her her entire life and she has absolutely no respect for that man, move on. Because she's not gonna respect you. Because you're gonna abuse her her entire life. This is one of the best posts you have made. Take it from the wisdom of a 54-year-old man who's been around the block a few times. This is the absolute truth. If a woman does not respect her father, she will not respect you as a husband. Never marry a woman that has daddy issues. Yeah, let me take the advice of a 54-year-old man who probably abused his kids. Out of all the advice, let me just- let me take yours. Alright, Ross. Fuck you! <laughs> she is testing you to see if you hold your frame or bend into hers. She wants you to win. Every time you bend, she despises you. Every time you stand strong, she loves you even more. Trust me, women are on your side. If my girlfriend, who I've been dating for three years, asks me to do something, and I don't do it, she's gonna love me more? That's how that works? I don't think so. Yep, no woman wants a spineless wimp. Even the best of them need to be told no once in a while. <laughs> Michael's profile picture is fucking Albert Einstein, dude. These bot accounts are so funny, man. Like, they're all bot accounts, and I know they're all bot accounts, but it's funnier to treat them as if they're real people. Red pill truth! You have no one to truly rely on but yourself. A woman's love is always conditional. Always take care of number one, you. I agree that you should take care of yourself, and that you should always be important to yourself. That's always true, but a woman's love isn't always conditional. A woman's love is conditional if you're a fucking piece of shit. Anyone's love is conditional if you're a fucking piece of shit. That's just how things work. And if you use phrases like red pill truth, you're probably a fucking piece of shit. Jason thinks that all men must learn this. I've learned it, and now I'm throwing it in the fucking garbage because it's terrible advice. Playboy Secrets Dating and Lifestyle says, women look for dominance, confidence, assertiveness, charisma, aloof and indifferent, insensitive, Evidence he's banging other girls. Physical fitness. You sure about that one, buddy? You really think that women are looking to see if you're banging other girls? Like, that's gonna be, like, a deal breaker? I only have, like, two of these things. What women look for? Dominance? Let's just say I'm not the one that wears the pants in the relationship. Confidence? I think I have a lot of confidence. Outwardly. Inwardly, I fucking hate myself. Assertiveness? I, I'm really bad at being assertive. <laughs> that's just not... 
that's not my that's not my strong suit. Charisma, I, f I feel like I have charisma. I feel like I'm a little, a little charismatic, a little mole rat, you know? Aloof and indifferent. No, that ain't me, dog. I'm not aloof. I'm definitely not indifferent. Insensitive? No, I am one of the most sensitive people you will ever meet in your entire life. I will cry. Evidence he's banging other girls. I'm not banging other girls. Physical fitness. No, this is all bullshit. I mean, this whole page is bullshit. We know that this whole page is bullshit. Men today desperately need to hear this message. There is no hint in the Bible that your aggressive instincts are a result of the fall. You are not, in other words, a defective woman. What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? I'm not even gonna sit here and try to figure out what this means. Like, if you can tell me what this means, please tell me in the comments, because I, I don't understand, and I don't care enough to look it up. So just, like, let me know if you can translate, because that doesn't make any fucking sense. All right, this is the last one I'm gonna take a look at for today. Another rational male quote. You can fix a woman's flat tire, help her out of a financial jam, fix her a nice lasagna. <laughs> Give her the perfect shoulder to cry on, babysit her kids, and listen to her drawn on for hours on the phone, and she'll still go fuck her outlaw biker boyfriend. This just means you're an incel! Oh, so what you did is made her think that she had a friend when really you were just trying to fuck her the entire time, right? Because if she loves her outlaw biker boyfriend, she loves her outlaw biker boyfriend. Who gives a shit if you fix her a nice lasagna? That doesn't entitle you to sex or a relationship. That doesn't entitle you to anything. So if you're watching this and you agree with any of these things, all you're ever going to be is a friend because no one, and I mean no one, is ever going to want to be with you because you're a fucking disgusting, misogynistic piece of shit. Moral of the video, if the video has to have a fucking moral, don't be a misogynistic piece of shit. All right, that's going to be it for me today. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you think I should be People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. Even if you don't think I should be People's Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, just freaking subscribe anyway. Just freaking subscribe anyway. I mean, I just made a great video. You, you gotta subscribe. You have to. That's the law. This week's funny boy is Colby, who sent me this meme. If you think you can make me laugh, follow me on Instagram and DM me a joke, a meme, a TikTok, a funny story, just anything to try to make me laugh. And if I like yours, you could potentially be the funny boy of the week. You can also follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch. If you want to officially join this community and you want to get to know me a little better, you can join my Discord. The links for all of those will be in the description down below. I'm Connor. McDowell, and I'm gonna go subject myself to some more horribly misogynistic content for your entertainment. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Boom!